a leading character in Sleeping Beauty, was named after the Duke of Edinburgh. The prince in the highly acclaimed Disney movie was called Prince Philip, taking inspiration from the British monarchy. Sleeping Beauty was created in 1959, and at the time Prince Philip was the most senior male figure in the British royal household. The Disney film was the first to name its prince, while other movies like Snow White and The Seven Dwarfs and Cinderella never named their heroes. According to a Disney fandom website, Philip was the first Disney prince to be given a proper name and a developed character. He is said to have been named after the prince that Americans knew of best at the time, Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, husband of Elizabeth II. However, Prince Philip's character in Sleeping Beauty did not appear to emulate the Duke's physical features as he had brown hair and brown eyes. In 1959, the Queen and her husband Prince Philip were the most notable monarchs in the world. Philip left active military service in 1952 when his wife became Queen and became a British prince in 1957. Despite his retirement from public duties in 2017, the prince has found himself in the spotlight in recent weeks. The Duke of Edinburgh will soon face a police verdict by next week or so, as officers continue to investigate his car crash. On 17 January, Prince Philip was driving a Land Rover Freelander near the Queen's estate in Sandringham when he crashed into a Kia. A passenger in the car, Emma Fairweather, suffered a broken right while the driver scraped her knees. A nine-month-old baby who was also in the car, escaped without any injuries. The prince has since apologized to Miss Fairweather in a personal letter, saying he was deeply sorry about her injury. In the letter signed by Philip, the prince wrote, I would like you to know how very sorry I am for my part in the accident at the Babingley Crossroads. I have been across that crossing any number of times and I know very well the amount of traffic that uses that main road. It was a bright sunny day, and at about 3 in the afternoon, the sun was low over the wash. In other words, the sun was shining low over the main road. In normal conditions I would have no difficulty in seeing traffic coming from the Dursingham direction, but I can only imagine that I fail to see the car coming, and I am very contrite about the consequences. I was somewhat shaken after the accident, but I was greatly relieved that none of you were seriously injured. As a crowd was beginning to gather, I was advised to return to Sandringham House by a local police officer. I have since learned that you suffered a broken arm. I am deeply sorry about this injury. I wish you a speedy recovery from a very distressing experience 